Of course there are shortcuts when it comes to fitness. Anything that makes it easier to perform the necessary work will enable you to get better results in less time. Okay, this video is a long time coming. This is my spinal strength and mobility exercises video I've been promising you. This is one of the great things about body weight exercise is it actually strengthens your spinal flexion and erectors pretty much better than any other method out there that keeps your spine still. So we start off with the classic yoga move, the cat cow. This is just simply about learning how to move your spine, engage your erectors, engage your abs in a very safe and controlled manner. You're on all fours and you're just simply moving up and down. Then we move on to line version here. This is the shoulder bridge exercise that I know uh, I've shown you in the past where you shrug your shoulders downwards trying to bridge your spine as much as you can, your thoracic spine, bringing the chest straight up and really, really just arching the spine as much as you can, lighting up your entire back. From there, it's a simple progression of moving on to the hamstring exercise. Remember, hamstrings, this is not a pushing exercise. You don't want to feel like you're necessarily pushing your feet into the ground. You're pulling with your hamstrings and your glutes and of course the exact same muscles that you use to arch your spine beforehand are also engaged in this as well. So you're looking for a nice arc to your back, not just coming to uh, straight. From there, we progress onto the TRX or any suspension training system of your choice. And even though this can be done very much with your hips and your hamstrings, you wanna make it primarily about your back, the muscles along your spine, round your spine as much as you possibly can, and then extend, pushing your chest and your belly forward, squeezing your shoulder blades and everything back as much as you can. You can uh, make this more challenging with uh, using the straight arm version. Arms come straight up overhead, and then you just gently lower yourself down. And again, you're trying to not use your legs nearly as much as the muscles in your back to get as much spinal movement and mobility as possible. Uh, and of course, moving yourself forward will also make it more difficult. We can hang. Uh, just simply hanging uh, in a bit of a tuck lever position round the spine and then extend with every back muscle you have to come uh, to a flat back or even a concave back. Your hips may move up and down a little bit like they are here on me, but ultimately you don't want them to move very much. Uh, this is definitely getting much more difficult in the spinal erection uh, style of training. From there, we go into what I like to call my inverted pull-ups. Uh, I love this move. I think I invented it. I haven't seen anyone else do it, but basically you're hanging, let the spine arch, and then pull your legs straight up into the sky with the muscles in your back, your shoulders, and uh, in your lower back as well. Moving on to uh, spinal flexion with the abs, we want to practice flexing the spine using your abs by rocking your glutes. In this exercise, I'm essentially using my abs to rock my butt on the floor, kind of like the rocker on a rocking chair. You can progress to using your legs like this, tailbone comes off the ground, and as you come down, you wanna have as much arch in the spine as possible. Again, if you feel it in your lower back, it means that your, spine, your uh, abs are no longer really working that much and you're using your psoas muscles a bit more and your abs are basically losing the battle. Uh, you use a uh, a little bit more of a straighter leg, tucking knees in, getting that full spinal mobility and abdominal activation as, uh, as much as possible, uh, still rocking the hips. And then of course you can go with the straight leg version, uh, which is a lot more difficult. Again, your abs have nothing to do with your legs. Just simply picking up your legs does not guarantee a great ab exercise. You can do hundreds of these just with the power in the hips. You want to focus on the movement in your spine, rocking your butt on the floor. So the bottom of your butt is touching the floor all the way up to your tailbone. And the legs are simply along for the ride, much like a dumbbell in a curl. From there, we go with the hanging knee raises. Again, hanging knee raises are not about picking up your legs or picking up your knees. It is about how much movement can you get in your spine. So I'm trying to round my spine as much as possible and then flexing or extending my spine towards the bottom, getting a nice, beautiful arch in my entire back, not just the lower back, the entire back, all the way from my shoulder blades and my thoracic spine, all the way down to my tailbone. 
Uh, so it's again this type of movement here where just picking up the legs not gonna do much for you uh, as far as your abdominal training. This is quite the serious ab exercise right here when you really make the movement of the spine and your pelvis the focal point of the exercise and you're not really too concerned about where your legs are going. Uh, moving on, we have squats. Bodyweight squats can be done, in fact, probably should be done with a rounded spine. The whole, you know, keep your back straight and everything is an artificial construct we invented due to uh, weightlifting practices, which are not necessarily the most natural way to move. So when you squat down, by all means, round the spine, and then as you stand up, Practice extending your spine with your back muscles, your spinal erectors, your lats. Stick that chest right on up. Again, almost impossible to do with many weighted squat versions, but with body weight exercise, it is an option that uh, you have available. In fact, you should be using this. And then, of course, we also have the style of cat-cow spinal movement with planks. This is a move that I'm still trying to play around with. Uh, it's really difficult to do. Ideally, your hips are not going to move a whole lot. It's, again, all about moving that spine. It's kind of like an elongated cat-cow exercise. You should feel your abs, uh, basically with all of these exercises, all of uh, them should have your abs engaged at the bottom. Crossing your feet will make it a little bit more difficult, as well uh, as lengthening out your plank by putting your hands out in front of you. A little bit more. So play around with these. Let me know if you have questions down below. Till then, be fit and live free.